Hello everybody, John Master here. Been uh, absent for a while, uh, slowed way down on the tool purchases due to uh, inconsistency in uh, pay, bouncing checks and whatnot. But anyway, found a new job starting on Monday. And uh, it's the last time I'm seeing my Snap-on dealer, so I figure I had to buy something good. And uh, I really like the small folding light I've had for a while. Uh, very durable, uh, lasts a long time, really strong magnet on the bottom, it's got a tip light, it's just a nice little inspection light, you know, that you can just throw in your pocket, and it's got a light on the back. I've had this for a while, bought for my dad and my friend, they love it, you know, it's like 80 bucks, I think, but I was really gonna, I've always thought about getting the Astro one, but I don't think it's really as durable as people think it is. And uh, I know a lot of people that own this. The Snap-on bigger version of this is the big Snap-on folding light. And it's a beast, I hear. Like, looked at reviews online. People beat them, and they just hold up. Uh, I think Snap-on makes really durable lights. Um, this, they make a couple different versions. This is a newer version with the uh, removable battery. And uh, you can buy multiple batteries, so you can just swap them out. You can just pull it, pull it out when it's dead, and if you have extra battery, and just swap it out. Keep going, so you don't have to wait for it to charge. But this is the ECAR G068. If you want it green, put a G at the end, obviously. Orange is an O. Those are the three colors they have. This is red. It's all he had. They don't have it in high vis or power blue yet, I don't think. Um... But yeah, this is a pretty cool light. Rechargeable battery flex light. And uh, looking at the specs here. Um, four and a half hours charging time. Uh, run time is two and a half hours on the highest setting. And 18 hours on the lowest setting. Four hours on spotlight. Uh, the highest setting on the beam is 600 lumens. Um, 60 lumens on low, and the spotlight on the tip is 350 lumens, so it's got some pretty good brightness to it. Hecho and China. That's where every light is made, by the way. So, I'm going to get this baby unboxed, show you guys how uh, beefy and durable it is. Alright, so out of the box, you get the light. You get a little white box that has the lithium ion battery. You can USB-C charge this separately if you want. And this pops in there. And you can buy multiples of these and you can buy a docking station for these as well, which is pretty cool. Comes with USB-C charger, wall outlet, and once you put this battery in, you can charge it from the outside, USB-C, obviously, and you can charge the battery when it's out too, so options, which is nice, and uh, you just pop the battery in here, which is pretty nice. goes in like that this clicks down like that and you got a spotlight on this end flood I mean spot whatever and this guy folds out really nice goes both ways there's your stick just Super beefy, very nice design, I think. You can hold it down, dim it down, like so. Shut it off. So there's only two lights on this. There isn't one on the back, but um, pretty cool light. And this folds back. You fold it all the way back like that. And the magnet is really strong. Magnets on the bottom, but yeah, this is the, the folding light that they make. Pretty cool. 
So uh, it's kind of similar to the Streamlight Switchblade. It's a little bit bulkier, but I believe this thing is going to hold up pretty good um, compared to some of the other brands out there. It was 140 bucks, but I probably could have bought three of a different brand, but I wanted to give it a shot because I've heard really good things about its durability. And the smaller version, I've had really good luck with. It's a little bit over half the price. But it's just not quite as bright as the big boy. Uh, this would be nice for uh, surfacing a block or something. You know, you can stick it on there and aim it where you need it. Or just work it under the hood of a truck or anything. I think it's going to really work out nice if you the cool thing is once this is open it, it won't turn the floodlight on it just switches to beam only and then once you shut it it'll only turn the flood on so pretty cool light i know it's kind of big i'm not a fan of big lights but it's not something i'm going to carry around with me in my pocket it's going to be something that stays stays on uh on a hood or on a frame you know and then you can fold it out where this one's more compact i can stick it in my side pocket of my pants and uh i can pull it out this little guy i really like because you can leave it shut and then just use the inspection light or you can use the really strong magnet on the bottom hook it on a hood but it's not super bright it's smaller but it's a good light this one though, we'll see. I haven't used it yet, and we'll see how it holds up. I'm sure it's going to hold up really good. You can get similar ones on Amazon, but this is uh, this is the newer model they have. They have some older models that I like too, but this is what he had on the truck, and this is this is the newer updated model with the removable battery, lithium ion battery. That's really good. So couple other lights I have they're inexpensive if you wanted to save some money I really like this is one of the first lights I bought uh, besides stream lights the first stuff I bought this little mantis this is a good light it's bright it's not USB-C it's micro so what but they're only like 20 bucks you can get them at Napa you can get them on Amazon and uh, Clore Automotive is who makes this you know jump and carry brand uh, JNC uh, that's who makes this and uh 750 milliamp hour but it's got your battery indicator on the back it's got a really strong magnet down here it actually is strong and it's got a nice clip so this is something that that i used a lot and then i kind of replaced this with this but you know this thing is awesome i really like it for the price so if you want to be cheap, you don't want to spend a lot of money, pick a Mantis up. They're really good. I'm not kidding. Anyway, if anyone wanted a part number on this guy, it's kind of hard to read, but I'll give you the part number on the small version. The small one is an ECPN D032. And they offer it in the three colors as well, orange, red, and green. But I think that's all I have for you guys. Uh, nothing else really new that I have. Um, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, have a great weekend.